Is this? Can you send that link again? Because the chat is. Has ah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Uh, wait a second. Is this actually recording? Does it say it's recording? Uh, yeah, I think so. yeah, yeah. It's just the user interface is terrible. Mm -hmm. Especially when you start screen sharing, you don't know what's happening. Yeah. It's okay. Uh, okay. So I'm gonna clear my thing. Maybe do you come? What that, normally when you load it for the first time, that link, it should render what is happening in the screen or not? Uh, I think you have to evaluate first. But if someone evaluates, I think it's going to evaluate. No? So just shift, control, enter, no? I think it's just control, enter in this one. Oh. And it will evaluate the whole thing? No, it just, it's just uh, the last line. Yeah. That only that chunk, I think. I don't ex actually. I don't exactly know. Okay. No. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. Uh, so, but there's not. I can. Exactly. No. It's I not, see. Yeah. It's, it's not exactly the same. No. No. I see. Just it's just control. Control Enter will evaluate evaluate the line the the chunk of code that you are. You yeah. Are in. Yeah. Okay. So I can just delete this. Mm. Oh. Okay. My keyboard is messed up somehow. Uh, one, two. It should be nice. running. Sorry. Oh. Uh, no, it's, it has to be, what do you want to do? Uh, try just to see the image in the in the block in the second block. It should be Render. oh, oh, okay. No, but we don't have anything there, so is not the oscillator twenty should not be there out. But uh, without, yeah. Default is all zero. So. Yeah, true. Okay, maybe, okay, let's jump to the questions uh, fast. Uh, okay, what it says, how to saturate play with colors on my webcam uh, from the green key background? What do I mean with that? Uh, okay, now let's try another RGB offset. Le I, uh, how does it work, the RGB offset? I don't, un I, I don't understand. What is the offset of, yeah, how does it work? The colors, the offset? The the offset of the os oscillators, the third oh. parameter, later, yeah. yeah, the offset. So the one, um, the, the second one uh, is the is the is the speed. No, how fast? Yes, yes. I think one is too fast, but let's let's just do it. And then this is just one full thing. No, I don't understand what is it. How it how the offset works here. Um, to be honest, I don't really understand either. I think it's just like sliding the RGB value. So if you do it like really small, then the color is not so much because I think their RGB are overlapping a lot. So it's okay. Yeah, to... I think it, yeah, I think it makes, it makes sense that you're smart. So if yeah so is so in this so like here is not there is color but it's very tiny tiny yeah 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 so it's the same if i put then uh 100 uh no when i because that was that was testing but if i put like this but i think it will just cycle through i because the last time I think I was testing with big numbers and at some point I was well. So you think there will be a maximum? No, because I think it's just because 
the sine wave is periodic. So yeah. if you slide a lot, then it will just come back to what it is. So for example, we can also, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, what would we do? Um, mouse, is it mouse X? Divided by, uh, I don't know, 100, would that make sense? Thousand or mouse X is not the thing. I forgot well, how where mouse value is. Uh, but I can also do time. What is time? Time is that time is is based on the moment from where the page is loaded, right? Yes. So now it's just uh, moving oh, the that's... time. It's cool because this is cool because then I can see where are you in the streaming <laughs> because there's delays. <laughs> okay. so I can follow yeah. the, the delay. It's very cool. No, but it's as you said, time is not synchronized. Like it's just when you load the page, so we have different true. time. Yeah, yeah, that's true. It's just the window. Yeah. The window. Yeah, it's, but it's it's fun. Yeah. So that's what, what hap What happened? Okay, no wait. Okay, because we will get lost here. Okay, this is uh, somehow. <laughs> Somewhat clear. Uh, wait, so whatever. And then how to save code as sketch? No, I, I know I understand this as well. So so every time I'm uploading the the I I use the in Hydra. I use that arrow to put it into Twitter. The code as well gets there, no? I mean yeah. the uh, yeah the codes get get there okay how to uh, how to save a video how to save a video how you save um, a video of high is there a I way only, you can save? I think we can only do OBS it doesn't is, is is it working here that wait because I know in Hydra I just I just find out like through a tutorial of Olivia no he's not that you can hide the code. With Control ah. Shift H H, H you can but, hide it. So then, but then, uh, then you can, work, yeah. you can. No, here doesn't work. Okay. Yeah. Okay, but now I know. Yes, uh, I did it the, the same way the last time in OBS. I just I clean it up nicely and then I record it from OBS. Um, how to smooth? Ah, okay. Sometimes is it possible to smooth? Um, let's say smooth what exactly i think sometimes maybe try, let me try so if i do uh which is my mouse is this one okay they should have different colors this mouse <laughs> uh, uh okay i'll take away this Okay, just now it became here again. Okay. No, it's actually zero. Then say you rotate. Many times, if so, right, I'm gonna open. A uh, hydro to see the functions. Yeah, okay, I know. Uh, I think this takes two parameters. Wait, okay, now loads open the functions. This one. So, um, rotate. Rotate takes angle and speed. Okay. Yeah. Um, 
Oh, okay. Oh, that's strange. Uh, um, why the, the expanding? Or what was strange? Because oh. it's it should just you know rotate around, but it's kind of. Like, yeah, I don't know uh, when, when I'm you. When I think, I'm, yes, I think this is a bug. You think so? Because it, be... it should like just go around, and I think what maybe this is something. I know, like I'm, I'm aware of like a few bugs, and I think this is one of the things that I talked with Olivia. It seems you know. It seems to me because I have been using this since the last yeah, yeah, the last couple of days when I'm when I'm working rotate mm. and it seems to me that it's just the at some point so it's ro it, it will rotate it gets more yeah. more obvious ah uh, but you can i'm curious to see what happens if i can i use a screen as well here can we use the what happen if i use uh if it will be it will be like my, a, yeah we can do that but it's gonna just use my camera for me but I think why I cannot. I no like on your screen it's gonna be you and it on my screen it's gonna be me. Out. Yes. Uh -huh. Um, uh, why is not doing it? A uh, source O one, yes. Should be working, no? Did I wrote something wrong here? To the cam? No. Mm. Source O two. Uh, well, well, now we are rendering O two, so you have to put it O two, and also this should be S zero. Oh. And I don't know. Probably like you want to do it like this way. Yeah. And. Also, yeah. maybe you need to separate. Why my keyboard is not working? It's so weird. I cannot. Oh, okay. Does it work for you? Yes. Now I'm see like and for you now yet. Uh, because I think I need to choose the camera. Okay. Now it's working. And now and now for me it's not working because okay. that's not my. That's yeah, funny. I see. Yeah, of course, because my camera is different. Uh, hmm. So yeah, your camera zero. just do zero again. This My, that's, that, no, that's a cam twist for me. <laughs> what is O? What is O zero? What is zero for you? Two, two is my camera. Okay. Uh, and I here? think for me it's the loopback uh, device I made, so I can do it somehow. Uh, let me just open. Jeez. And... Oh no. I'll just do something confusing. And what am I saying? Is it this is I put myself here. Um. So what's going on here? That's weird. Sorry. That's so weird. Um. Okay. Oh, of course. 
Can I, can I see the original screen again? Sorry, I just need to fix this first. Uh, I don't. I go this this is just confusing. Um, yeah. No, it's okay. It's okay. You can just do it. I will have maybe my. Why why you have what what is multiplying yours? I know it's because I'm doing something different. Ah, okay. It's just adding another confusion. Uh, it's just actually a second screen that's sent to a, a USB capture. Uh, oh, I am. Uh, so you were you you were trying to use your USB. Yeah, uh, I can just open something like my picture, maybe. I don't know. Okay, now I see this. Log. This is weird, man. This flock is weird. Yeah. So, but I need to reload would... it. Yeah. Yes. Me? Uh, no, no, no. It's okay. I just needed to reload flock because yeah. I messed up everything. And not everything. Right. Uh, oh, but this row, no, this rotation is broken somehow. Yeah, it's broken. So that's what I'm. That's what what I mean is like it seems to me because look, 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 it's not happening all the time. Wait, I, I'm just gonna wait and then I show you what I'm trying to do. So wait, now it's gonna extend, and it will extend again, and then and it will weird. have a loop. Wait. And now we will have one full rotation, I think, normal. So what what I think what I'm thinking is in somehow the image will be twisting in the X uh, direction. Yeah. You know what I mean? So there is yeah, rotating. Yeah, yeah. Like... I, I totally I totally understand what you mean. Um, can I do something? Sure. If I can fix it, I mean not fix, but basically, why my keyboard is not working? Oh no, shoot. Uh, I don't know, like something is wrong with my keyboard since like, like from yesterday, like it's something is totally. But maybe I, because I, I'm having problems with, with my keyboard, I think it's just the delay of, I think it's just flow. No, it, I, I had issues like before already and I'm just not happy, but it's okay. No stress. Uh, maybe this can be a hack. But then I don't know what to do because I need to do. Uh, how do I do this? Let's see. One. This looks fine. Whoa. How to. We maybe pixelate one one, but it will not continuously move. I think it will cycle through, like it will kind of go back from here. But is that does it look like a rotation? It looks like it's rotating, but and now it stops. Wait, and now we'll go back. Yeah, I know what, it, what what it's doing. Yeah, because this is a sine curve. Like I'm using the oscillator, so it's not like ramping up. Like keep ramping yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Like you know. Yeah. Uh, but what you know what we can also do solid and just say that it's a time. Yeah. So maybe this is actually a workaround. Wow.
Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then the solid. The solid is a color normally, no? Yeah. But um, yeah, it, it's gonna take some time to explain what it's doing. But basically, modulate rotate is like I don't know how to explain this. <laughs> it's hard, but basically, like the color. I know. I know. Yeah. I know the mo modulate. I know the modulate will take uh, the source as one. Yeah, the source, like the first argument, will be like the pixels will um, modify the x and y coordinates. Yeah. So modulate is like x and y, but modulate rotate is basically that pixel will rotate according to this here, like where it's a solid in this case. Um, so usually like if you put like oh, oscillator, then it will go crazy like this, yeah. which is kind of fun. Um, but because now we want to do rotation for the whole image and not like pixel based. So I do solid, which gives just one uh, color, right? Okay. So uh, it's, so it's you, really a hack. So you use the solid to put them together as one thing, right? Yeah. Yeah, because uh, somehow rotate is not working, but modulate rotate is uh, has a proper rotation. So I think I thought this would work and it's working. But this is it, it shouldn't be like that with rotate. Like we have to uh, fix it. Uh, yeah, I, and I then wait, the, and then with uh, so but then but then um, going into then the difference between modulate rotate and rotate because I I think I understand what is modulate, but then what is the difference with the and rotate and modulate rotate. Oh, the, what like, or, I, like the, the difference between modulate and modulate ro rotate. Yeah, this is like a big question. So, like for example, if you do this, uh, let's put it to all three, so it's easier to see. So this mm -hmm. you understand, right? Like if I, yeah. I like it when it's more like. This maybe I don't know. That's okay. So this is basically like shifting the pixels. Yeah. According to yeah. the noise. Of yeah, the other source that you keep. Yeah. Yeah. And uh. modulate rotate would like it's the the effect is not so dramatic, but it will Instead of shifting the pixels with x, y, it will rotate from the center. Constantly. And from the center. So mm -hmm. there's yeah. also like modulate scale. But you know what? Like all these um, modulation, they look kind of the same, right? Very similar. But now that you explained yeah. to me, like like with the rotation. It means like yeah. that should apply to the rest of them, I guess, because it's true. Like once you really see in detail, then you can see that indeed it was rotating, like uh, it was rotating. The, the modulation was doing circles, uh, but it's very tiny the difference. Uh, but I understood yeah. what what happens to the line. So okay, if you oh, but it's okay. To, okay. if you really want to like play with these um, effects, you really have to kind of start digging into math. For example, like if you do this, um, I'm just rotating the center of the image, right? But just one time. Yeah, I mean, I can just do it here, fine. I never did it like this, but if or, you uh, maybe not this. Wait, if you have, uh, if you can, you uh, yes, that was a question that I, yes, model, can you if you have a modulo at some point will restart again? Yeah, I mean this is not super cool, but anyways, yeah, because if you do rotation, like you don't need the modulo because it will just continue. Rotating. 
Yeah. But if, if what, let's say if what we want is like to rotate certain time and then just to reset. So then to use a modulo to reset uh, to initial state. Can I do it? Or like, are you asking Ole? Yeah, the time, I guess, model, uh, I don't know how it's based in time. This. Uh, well, it's math, pi is the, yeah, but three, it's, it's seconds, so that then you have to wait for five minutes. Okay, so then what will be, I'm just trying to put a value that it will reset after certain time that it will reset. Yeah, just put like uh, three. Okay, and then it comes back. Yeah, yeah, that was what I was, yeah, that was uh, the question. Okay. Yeah, uh, okay, cool. Uh, how to video, how to smooth. I don't even know what do I mean with that. Uh, okay, let's say this is a good example of a smooth. Like, no, but that's not because I'm just resetting. Is there, is there a way how you could smooth this transition, this what is happening there in the rotation? Like the, mm. the, 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 the jump? Maybe I like, mean, maybe, you know, maybe, it's not the, maybe it's not the best example, but if you, you see what I mean? Like, because sometimes some of the effects, they will jump. Like these things. Yes, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. How will you smooth the transition? Is it possible to smooth the transition? Take away this mood, take it away. Yeah, I, I take away this mood. I, I will just take it away. Yeah, just do it. And it will be just two values jumping to another. Okay, and then. And you can also set uh, argument of smooth from zero to one that will change the how hard the smoothing is and by default what is it and you cannot check that i don't know probably like 0 0.5 or something i don't usually uh, use this so i don't know but i'm just gonna check fast this mood uh smooth smooth set smooth it's not in it's not in the function actually it says uh, it says set, set mood not smooth but set is smooth no, because this is something for the array and it's not for the texture. Uh, it's not uh, modifying the, the shader, but it's applying to the to the array. Okay, and then the array, what is the array there? It's just, we am trying to see, shape. It's, just, it's, it's part of the second argument. The array is yeah. just second we argument. We can just do something simple, like mm, no. like this will be just black and red, right? Yeah. And just try adding smooth to the to the array so that to see what's gonna happen. Because right now it's just In solid. choosing solid zero and solid one and alternating yes. between them. And yeah. if you add smooth, then it will be smooth. Yeah. This is oh, yeah, okay. this is clearer. I think this this is the last example was not so good because it's so yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what I mean. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. And okay, but you can smooth, set... it will. This is part of the. It will affect just the array. It's something for the array. Yeah, yeah. And you can also uh, set like point one. Um, well, maybe point three. So, if you do this, then if it becomes closer to zero, it will be like sharper. And if you put like close to one, then mm -hmm. the change will be like smoother, basically. Okay. 
Um, you know what? <clears throat> Let's. Uh, what's it like? Um, because in the documentation, for instance, like I don't, and I know because you told me that you can play with arrays there. Uh, but for instance, like where will be that part in the documentation? Which documentation are you looking at? In the uh, uh, this one, the list of functions that you find, I will just send you. Yeah, yeah please. Because the documentation is not really clear. There. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because this is the documentation for the Hydra functions, like for the texture. And I think that for the texture. Mm -hmm. I don't know, actually. It's not in the readme. Ah. Oh, but it's not really. No, she hasn't updated because. I think at the end of this, at the end of this repository, she says like, ah, no, 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 no. So this I is not because there's something. one. Say again. I sent you the link, but this is far from complete because it doesn't even have smooth. It just has fast, which also works. Parameter sequences. We need to update this. To update what? This documentation. Oh, yeah. The documentation. So this is the this is the parameter sequences, the list of parameter yeah. sequences. And this typo in this document, uh, the title of the document, it should be funks. It says funsk. Okay. Uh, you know what? Let's try to. Uh, what if? Why don't you uh, share maybe your screen? Uh, what, what, how should we do this? Like maybe uh, go through the documentation and and fast, and maybe you can tell me like we can do now like things that maybe you use often like uh, or things that maybe you think are could be useful for what we do or things that you maybe you do often use. And then in this I way, see. maybe we would do tip, tip, tips and tricks in that way. Yeah, I mean, we can just improvise. I mean, because I don't really see the documentation often. But, but the I thing have... is like, I do see, I ah, see, to see where it is. The thing that, because I'm Maybe. seeing the document like now, because I'm just sort of like uh, using the, 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 the program. So then I go often to the documentation now. Yeah, so this is what something we can see actually. <laughs> Oops. Ah, okay. That's yours. Yeah, I see this. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. It's not amazing, but it's okay. I'm going to look what can be interesting. Okay. I actually just started to add more things to it. Uh, probably not this. Well, we did modulation, so maybe modulation is fun. Could be. You know what? Actually, uh, something that yeah, maybe we couldn't start from there. Like go to uh, colors, um, because that was a question that I have. Like the saturation is something that I don't completely understand because once I use like one point, uh, it goes. I don't see difference. Like so, the yeah, the colors. I don't really understand the, the working with color. So maybe we can start okay. there. Yeah. Okay. So saturation. 
for example. Uh, how do we do this? Like maybe OSC and uh, we do it like. Maybe just erase and let's erase everything that now in the. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just keep that camera thing because it may be useful at some point. Uh, or, or actually, we can use the camera. That's easier. So, for example, we have this, and then uh, wait. No, it's okay if it's flickering. It's okay. Um, okay, so saturate, right? Yeah. That's something yeah we do actually in the yeah VM. Yeah. Um, I don't know what the default parameter is, but probably something around two. And if you add more, then it's going to be more saturated. Uh, so the default is two, yeah. And okay, and if we with my my cursor here, so. The default is two, and now um, what happens if I do this? Okay, so that's wait. Ah, okay, so then zero is completely black, I guess. Yeah, so that's right? that's an interesting trick. Like, if you want to have black and white, then you just do saturate zero. And what about can it go below? Ah, okay, you go. Oh, under. Interesting. It's just I think the hue changes. Yeah. All right, and um, let's maybe just try to uh, what like try to explain me how to work how you work with colors when you do glitches and what we do. Yeah. How what what do you think so... could be interesting for me to know? Hmm. Wow, that's so cool. My my t-shirt looks so cool. I oh I don't see your screen so. <laughs> you can see my screen. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're missing something amazing. <laughs> so maybe like, maybe hue is fun to do. Like, yeah, I haven't used hue. Yeah. So basically, hue is hue, and it shifts the hue. And if you say hue, why is it hue zero? It's it won't do anything. And if hue one also doesn't do anything because hue is like cycles from zero to one. So if you do 0 0.1, then it shifts a bit. Normally the hue will start, that hue start, if it's following that wheel, it's red to red, no? If it's yeah, red. so that's why it's wall cycle. Uh -huh. No, like so, the, so listen, oh, yeah, I mean, yes. you can try. Okay, yes. So, like, this is the original image, and if you do point 0.1, then it, like, red will go to a bit to yellow, I think. Yeah. And then green will go a little bit to blue, and blue will be a bit purple because you're just like shifting all the wheel all the wheel the whole wheel to you know yeah a bit forward or if you do yeah. minus 0 0.1 then it reverses so uh, red becomes more purple yeah. and green becomes more yellow yeah we can, we can just do this with time actually I never do it, but oh, that's fast. So this can be something. Okay. Um... Let's do a. Well, let's try to uh, use. Uh, uh... What's called um, feedback. So if I use here yeah. the 
Oh, uh, oh, that's gonna be crazy. Wow. <laughs> because you're not sending the the camera anymore. So no? yeah, feedback is, yeah. Uh, maybe I can do it. Yep. A bit. Basically, uh, if you're, can you move the cursor? Because I cannot type close to you. It's so weird. Here. Yeah. 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 So I just stop it. Um, I mean, there are different ways to do it, but for example, uh, easy way is, well, it's not really easy. Uh, yeah, maybe it's easy. For example, if I have layer that comes from S0, which will just overwrite, but I can do Luma, which is basically only the bright part of the camera image is preserved. We can do uh, can I try can I try something? Wait a second. This. Yeah, you can try. That's the Luma, okay. Uh yeah, but the way how I learn how to do it will be but is if I do O zero I guess this. and then instead of this I use yeah blend works too anything that is on uh, there is one of the operators will work right uh, uh, the operator uh, they yeah that's how they could they, she put it in this category the operators are um oh, okay Add blend difference layer mask mold. I see. Ah, but not only that, not only this, but the other ones as well. Uh, blend them. No, you need a you need a texture here, so it's like O zero or O two. Here, yeah, 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 yeah. Here is what I need to put. Uh, I want. No. <laughs> oh, zero. No, I focus. Mm. Mm. Uh, wait, what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to, so it's the source, it's the camera, and I'm, yeah. and I'm blending. I'm blending. Yeah. Uh, I need to put a source. I need to put a source, yeah. so, right? So, so, so you're working with O2 and S0. O2. So it because should be O2. The, that's where it's up output, right? Because we're out yeah. O2. So you want to reuse that texture. Yeah. Uh, and the source is the camera, so S0. I and that's why I was like this. Yeah. Just and then um yeah, so difference, let's say. Oh, that's gonna be crazy. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And that's gonna become white. No. Yes, it becomes it becomes more brighter. And so I then to to catch the the, the motion of the previous source. Because yeah. now I, I need to ah. add some opacity somehow, right? Wait, what do you mean by motion? Like you want like, to move but, the texture? Uh, no, like the to create a feedback, like to create a f uh, because now what we are doing, I think, is just I take completely the source of the camera and. And yeah, the yeah. difference between this, the the source, the my first source. I mean, yeah, to see, to have this kind of ghost effect, because uh, uh, in, with this effect, I cannot see it. Like we do usually, like when you move, yeah, yeah, yeah. leaves the trace. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. I see. Yeah. Um, I mean, usually so I. One, one way how you did it was with layer. So, but yeah. if without the layer, is it? Yeah, I mean, how... you can do it. Like, I think. Um, but isn't blend. Doesn't blend work? Uh, well, I'm just using no. static image, so it's. I can't really see it. Um, how can I do this? Wait a sec. You need the video. Yeah, we can just show the practice. it like this it's so weird anyways uh, it's not so good as a video I think I'll just open the chat oh, let's see, see. this oh, this uh. Okay. okay, so, and this is not working, you said. Well, it's because the thing is that blend O2.2 means you take 20% of O2 yeah. and you take 80% of S0. So what happens is like you're taking too much of the camera. If you do it like this, which means 90% of O2, which is the previous buffer, and 10% yeah. of S0, which is a new data, then it will be a bit more blurry, you know? Yeah, because what you want is to, to use the, to feed the, the blending with the output, right? To create, uh, to create this blur. You want, you want to keep the last image more than you feed the new one because sure. then it will be just washed yeah. out with a new texture. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, maybe can you uh, go? You can maybe you just go back in the way how you do it, and maybe you can we can explain again from there. Yeah. So you can do so, it from layer. Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, I don't use blend too much because can you move the cursor actually? Uh, yes. Uh, yeah, so you, yeah. Can, you can just use the layer. Um. Yeah, and I, I usually put O2 here so that we work the, the base layer is the, the previous frame. And my mouse is slow. I don't know what's happening with my setup. So for example, this is just showing the, the, the new image, right? So we do Luma. And that then what happens is the bright part will just overwrite. In fact, I should do like something like this. So you don't see the blurry thingy, but uh, it will just cut off whatever that's dark and overwrite with the brighter part of S0. Wait, so let me let me go through this. So then the layer uh, it will take uh, so it's the layer is just it's just a texture. It's just one thing. It's a texture. Yep. So the whole thing is a texture. Um then the Luma um okay, I'm gonna check here the Luma. Yeah, so layer is just putting on top of 
another texture, uh, except that if you have alpha, like transparency, then that becomes, uh, you know, the base texture is more visible in that alpha transparent part. Wait, so then, then the, if you put alpha, can okay, you repeat it? Okay, let me just do it this way. Um, uh, well, no, we have it there actually. Uh, wait a second. So we already see that there, but just to make it easy, we put uh, solid. So this is same thing, but instead of doing feedback, I put the red solid layer at, on the background. Mm -hmm. And then I'm layering okay. with the camera, which comes with Luma. You're rendering the camera and then wait. So then I'm trying to understand the Luma. And then the Luma I'm seeing here, the first one is the threshold. So if I put this lower, yeah. It will be less, right? Yes, it's less. Okay, and the, and the second one is the tolerance, which stands yeah. for what? So that's kind of what? makes the gradient like. So. Okay, so what happened here? Like because I put one and then it's uh, of course it's not working, and then so why can you try to explain me why it's not working? So this is the value that um makes like smooth transition and mm -hmm. this is a bit weird sketchy thing with uh this that so for example like if i put it 0 0.2 uh, or maybe i can even do it like i think it's easier if i just say one and one does it work no it's completely, I mean, it's red. It's completely, it's one full thing. Okay. But like, yeah, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, it works, yeah. Yeah, I mean, with Luma, it's actually hard to see. Are you thresh? No, thresh is not good. Mm, I don't know how to do it. So basically, like, with... The second argument you can make uh, like not like just cut off the dark part of the image like not making it zero but it makes like 0 0.1 0 0.2 like smooth transition from one to zero i see okay but yeah for feedback for feedback i usually put it like really low because it becomes a bit like i don't know yeah. it doesn't uh, add nice effect to it yeah, and as well, because I think every time since it's just giving, it's just looping, every time that it will just, it will become uh, dirtier faster. I mean, you will cover yeah, yeah, the, yeah. the screen way faster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So because I the usually yeah. get super small, but there's also a bug that you cannot set it to zero. Maybe it works. I, I don't know. You can try, but um, it depends on the environment. Uh, I cannot do it because your cursor is there. <laughs> you have to move your cursor. Yeah, usually we split the window so we don't cover completely. I mean, it seems working for me, but... It's working for me as well. Okay, so maybe that's okay. Uh, wait, maybe if I... I should not change it, of course. Um, okay, good. Um, yeah, maybe you can go through maybe a little bit just more of the colors and yeah bit. so this is let's say this is a starting point for the feedback so yeah in this one the o2 yeah now we have source and then you put the layer with luma so that only the bright part will update and what you want to do is you want to add here something for example like saturate 
because this is feedback you want to you want to do it like really um subtle like not too then it will just like shoots up you know true so you want to do it like 1.1 or something well it's already saturated so you don't see the effect but if you do it like 0 0.99 then it should gradually desaturate oh down or maybe it will, it it gradually will desaturate right yeah hmm? it gradually will be desaturated yeah. then yeah yes so you can also do something like dot q but keep it again really small too slow then, because yeah anything so yeah 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 i understand now so everything that you want to work with colors in the feedback should be very slow because otherwise the, the screen just gets dirty super fast yeah kind of and then you can also add so always just work before the layer like modulate maybe o2 but again keep it really small that's too high for me yeah yeah. Still? Yeah, that's better. Yeah, no, like that, that's good. Yeah. Okay. Then, then, nice. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I see. All right. More, 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 more. This <laughs> now, I now we understanding like uh yeah yeah. So I, I like really really like this modulate hue, but modulate hue has to be really big, somehow. I don't know why. This is nice it's because. It's different is modulate modulate hue than the hue is a different thing. So modulate hue doesn't actually modulate the hue. This is really it and it's actually nothing it has nothing to do with hue, but okay. it's just taking RGB and shift the pixels. It's like it's it's like it's like um I don't know, like a friend of modulate, but the nice thing uh, yeah, is okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you do, yeah. if you do modulate, it always go to the one direction, right? Or like, like always like shifts to the top left. But modulate hue yeah. kind of makes it uh, more. Oh, that's what you mean. Like, yeah, that would, so it stays kind of floating in the same space. Yeah. So I just do it saturate oh, yeah. so that we have more colors, and then it will start to like move around i think or maybe we also wow, need a hue cool. oh, maybe it's okay yeah but the but the model like you uh, so that's a good trick actually is model, model like you is yeah because I, what i didn't like it from the modulate is that yeah it's true it goes into one direction very fast yeah yeah but modulate yeah. you you have to use the color like not black and white or grayscale but it, it's looking at RGB, so it's, it goes well with saturate and even with hue. This is always fun. It starts to like rotate, right? Is yeah, because maybe my image, yeah, is doing. He's doing cycles of the thing. It's not good, but it's not getting away as before. Yeah. Yes, cycles. Yeah, yeah. He has doing some cycles. It's cool. This is very cool. Yeah, it's that's what I do. You. That's what I do usually. Yeah, this, yeah. This looks very. This looks very much like you. This model like you. <laughs> that this is this is okay. So this is this is official. Uh, Tip and trick number one to now together. <laughs> Model and you. Yeah. Uh, okay, that's the, that's that was very actually clear. actually these days I try not to use it because it's so easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my friend. Uh, I do something okay. more like modulate scale or modulate rotate. I mean I can like go crazy with these things. But... Because I mean, what I was, what I started, what I start playing is like I, but I guess I'm just learning to work with this. Is like 
from really early stage, I will just start just putting here. I'm gonna just put some things. I'm gonna start putting just, uh, and then. Yeah, this will be crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then from really, that's what I realized from really early stage, I will start putting too much numbers as well. So then the image gets way, way, <laughs> but you see it, I don't know, I want to see your screen, wait, wait, because what is, I cannot see what you're doing. Oh, well, I mean, I'm just playing YouTube and it's kind of getting so boring because it's just too white because of the frame well, of the YouTube. But it like in, ah, yeah, but okay, now I see what is happening. It's going in this kaleidoscope mode. Yeah. You see what I mean? Yeah, okay. Kind of. Which is, I mean, uh, it's not bad. No, I think I kind of like it, but yeah, what I'm what I was trying to say is like, I think I I put way too the, the numbers are way too high, very fast. So, yeah, yeah I this I just my image gets very sat like, very busy, very fast. Yeah. 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 Also, like some tricks I use. I mean, how can I do it? I'll just make a new one. So. It's not feedback, but for example, if I want to have um, split it to one, and usually, like if you do modulate with noise, then it like mm -hmm. it applies the whole image, right? Of course. So I prefer to do like Luma. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe wow, this see, is not so right. cool, but. Yeah, but I see what you mean. So then in the texture, the, the so the, the input value that you put in the, in the modulate is not the whole thing, but yeah. it's just the Luma, the right part of that. Yeah, so you kind of have more uh how to say variety or yeah it, it kind of emphasized the effect a little bit true 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 what else i don't know like always modulate pixelate is i think i don't i don't know if many people are using it but this is also really nice if you know how to use it. So if you just do modulate pixelate, yeah, it what goes, is doing? It just go crazy. Like you don't see any pixelation. And um, how I do it is, you have to emphasize a bit by pixelating the input itself. And then mm. if you do this, so I don't know if, if I can really explain it, but if you, so if you always use, when you use modulate, you have to like kind of work carefully with the, what, what you input. Like the texture, so, yeah, what are you giving the texture? Yeah. yeah, so now you can actually see the, the effect of pixelation, but it's like modulated somehow. Okay, actually, that's a, that's a good, that's a good uh, tip. Yeah, if you want to work with modulation, then you have to be careful. I mean, to get a good effect, you need to take into account the values that you're passing to the input. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's not so intuitive to do it, but uh, but it's really nice if you start, if you can figure out it's nice. Like also like that's how I found this, that I, these days I do this like fucking all the time. Uh, modulate with uh, like this thing. Or you can actually even do it with your camera.
But then the colors are the colors are static. I don't I I see that my colors are static. Yeah, colors Before. are static. So if I add this, then it will just change. Ah, yeah, because the yeah yeah the they were the yeah they were not. Yeah yeah the oscillator was in zero. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah, like a fake yeah, yeah. thermography kind of. Yeah yeah yeah. Thing. yeah. <laughs> Which I, which so, I like then, because yeah so then let, so let me try to understand if if let's say if i'm new completely in hydra and then mm -hmm. while you will say like you have to pay attention try to understand make sense is if i understand well like is trying to play with the textures is very it's i mean just now i'm seeing actually that those like what you you will use in modulate or i don't know if that's called a texture but this the source that you're giving yeah, it's very important. But what do you think will be like steps? How you will suggest like you know try to play play here to understand I, the logic I mean, how it works. I mean, this is hard. Like I just noticed that actually I've been using Hydra for more than two years, and. Like at first I was like that, you know, just adding things to it and it goes crazy. And that's kind of yeah, yeah, yeah. part of it. That's what I am. And... That's what I am. <laughs> no, but that's also fun. But um, yeah. yeah, I just started to write shorter code. And if you, if you think that something is wrong, then just use that like small chunk of the code and just output or use the render to show like different buffers. Yeah, that's what because... I'm doing now. That, that actually helps a lot the render. Then you can understand yeah. how, what the yeah. Yeah, and just yeah, just make it short, and then that that's how I started to get into more like these tricks because otherwise you just end up with some random texture, which is fun. But you know, if you want to do something more. Not precise, but you know, if you really want to craft something, then you have to make kind of theory of Hydra, which is the reason why I'm writing that book. I mean, it's not a book, but the article about Hydra, just to um, yeah, maybe the, going back to that, going back to that booklet or the this information yeah. that you're <laughs> writing, uh, then. Um, is there a, a way how you will suggest going through that book some order or no i would i would suggest that just looking into some examples and then take whatever you think is interesting because it's not really like in order i mean i'm trying to make it more uh, organized but it's not really like a you know specific order or you have to read through like it's more like i would suggest just going through like different examples and try it and yeah, change yeah, parameters yeah. yeah like like myself for instance like, i think now i'm interested and i start understanding slowly the colors so i think i will go in your book uh, about colors mm. coloring okay i will suggest um uh, maybe what if we do 15 minutes of of changing but this is weird this folk is weird because we cannot change parameters at the same time like if your cursor is somewhere i cannot go there right no yeah right so but we can just work on different textures yeah that's how people um, do what do you mean but because for instance like now i can just code we can just code in one right Hmm? I don't yeah, see. Yeah, like there's only one text box. Oh, that's what you meant. Okay, okay. That's what you meant. Yeah, like yeah. we can in two different textures. Yeah. Like now we have three. Now we have four textures actually here. But that's that's how how Hydra works, and it's not about Flock. So this is so confusing because in Flock you can have separate editors. So that the cursors don't crash into each other, like each other. But that's just the function from Flock, and it does, it has nothing to do with the buffers. It's not like Pixel Jam. 
It's just so that we can yeah. sp split. We can split the editor in Flock, so we can work individually. But why it's showing four textures now is because Hydra. In Hydra, we did the render. Yeah. And if we just do render O2, then we just see O2. Yeah. Yeah. And that that's just nothing has nothing to do with Flock. But well, if yeah, let's just maybe just do like maybe four fifteen minutes of just changing. Uh, so maybe just we can erase the whole thing and then we can start again with with the camera. We, we can start. Should we do it in another block so we have two editors, or we don't care? Let me, let's try now into it before, because I will suggest then yeah, we... Let's just do it. Yeah. Like this. Yeah. Like, in, in, show me two editors, because I don't under, I, I don't understand that. No, because uh, what I meant is like, uh, for example, uh, where is it? Like if we go to another one. Like here that I opened With earlier. Do, do you see the screen share? Uh, yeah, I see the screen share, yes. Or I, I can also send you the link again, but uh, yes. the basically link. in this room, we have two editors that we can work separately and not bumping into each other. And where where did you decide, where do you choose to uh, to have two? Oh, like when you open the room. Oh yeah, wait, yeah. Talk. I just want to, I just want to see that website. So I go here. Uh, enter target separate by commas. So then yeah, you can put as many as so just just do hydra 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 and then we'll make three or four or five separate and you, screens. And you, can you can you do you do it uh, again like from the uh, entering uh, flock? Uh, so yes, uh, yeah, is that okay? And then and then. So just Hydra. But those are just variables? It's just a... Uh, hmm? Name. Are just, those just variables? It's not a, it's not a function of anything This that you're calling in four different times. When you say Hydra, Hydra, Hydra... No, it, it, it's just a layout. A variable. It's just that a layout the, that you pass to Flock. For example, like you can also do Hydra title or something like that. I mean, I don't have title, so I cannot do it, but yeah. oops, no, title didn't work. Anyways, um, that's how you do it. And right with this one, I did Hydra comma Hydra. So it has two separate editors. Do Hydra, okay, because I thought, okay, because I, I, I was thinking of this more like lab lab. No, no, no. So actually, literally, you were saying use two times Hydra. Hmm. Yeah. So but they are all right. connected to connected to the same Hydra. So then it should be they should have not every. I mean, they should be some things that are working. Like for instance, you say title cycle is not working there. Ah, because you have to install something on your like, computer is, to is, work I think with title. To but Hydra is standalone. It works on the browser, but Title doesn't work on the browser. So you have to like install something and do something special. But if you were just using Hydra, then it's it's fine. It's just something. But what I'm, what I don't, but what I don't, I, I'm not understand is, uh, so already Flock knows Hydra. That's why you can just type yeah, yeah. Hydra. Yeah, it's it's made for this. Okay. Okay. All so right. That's yeah, cool. Flock has so yeah, Hydra right. embedded. 
cool yeah yeah okay that's the word yeah so yeah it's embedded it's in, okay yeah all right so maybe i will say like what if you if you cut the stop the recording now and then we record again like for just 15 minutes in one editor we just play around wait <laughs> 